We're going to take a look at adding audio files to your iBooks author pages. So in order to record some audio, there's a few different programs that you can use, uh, such as GarageBand or Audacity. Uh, in this case, we're just going to choose to use QuickTime. So QuickTime is built into um, your Mac operating system. And when you open up QuickTime, you can see that you can create a new movie using um, the webcam on your MacBook or you can create a new audio recording or a screen recording. So I'm going to select an audio recording in this case and it's just going to bring up my little audio recorder right here and when I want to start recording I'm going to hit the red dot. So here we go. Alright, hey guys, well, welcome. This is a quick tutorial on audio recording and we're going to show you what you can do with this audio file. So think about all the different ways you could use an audio file in an iBook from creating a podcast to foreign language teachers, um, helping students conjugate verbs, or giving them a sentence or two to whether it's translate into English or translate into Spanish or some other foreign language. Uh, so I hope you get some ideas on how you can use this in the classroom. Okay, so now that we've uh, done that, um, we're actually going to come up here to file. We'll just export this. Uh, we can export this to iTunes or we can export it to our um, desktop. So in this case I've created a audio clips folder and I'm just going to save it there because in the end I want to upload all of my files um, to this collaborative space that we're using so that we can share these other audio clips with others. So I'm just going to title this uh, Hello IBA Group and I'm going to format it as an audio only and hit export. So that's going to end up in that folder out there on my desktop. Uh, when I want to go to insert that, um, I'm just going to go over to my finder here and I'll see that I have those two clips there. So it doesn't matter which one I grab, they're both going to be of the same file format. Um, so I'm just going to drop that in and when I drop it in, you'll notice it's very similar to the video file, it's going to optimize that audio. It's going to automatically launch my widget inspector and it's going to give me options for the interaction and the layout. So uh, let's start with the interaction. There's three different ways that you can format this for the user to interact with it. So this button one here, uh, you can tap it to begin and tap it to stop or pause um, wherever it's at. And uh, when the reader or the user taps it again, it will pick up right where it left off. You can also choose the scrubber bar so the user can scrub through uh, the audio recording at their own pace. They can rewind it right there. They can see the timeline of that. Or you can attach it to an image. So um, in order to do this, I would just drag an image in here and uh, that user would tap on the image and it would start to play that audio. Now it's important to note that when you do the image one, uh, you're not going to have the options to pausing the audio. So just kind of keep that in mind. We'll give you an example in this book of all three uh, types of audio files. Uh, notice that you can also choose to loop that uh, if you wanted to play it to listen back to how it sounded you could hit play here. Uh, the layout very similar to all of our other layouts we can choose the look and feel of that just a little bit different now with an audio clip and you'll notice it also starts off with audio 4.1. Uh, 